action. EMT number one maintains manual stabilization of the limb, while EMT number two evaluates the limb and prepares his equipment. He checks the limb for any other injuries, assessing distal PMS. If distal PMS is not found, you may attempt one realignment. Assuming PMS is intact, EMT number two will begin the application of the splint, beginning with a single cravat tied just underneath the knee, not too tight as that is the injured part. Two medium-sized splints are arranged around the limb with the padded side towards the patient. EMT number one is going to hold them in place while EMT number two applies cravats numbers two and three. Applying the cravat, he puts it underneath both the limb and the splints with two-thirds of the slack on one side and one-third of the slack on the other. The long end is passed around just the splints the second time to provide tension within the splint. It is tied an overhand knot in loops because this one is going to be revisited later for a second tightening. The same process is applied above the knee with the long end of the cravat being wrapped the second time around the splints. The excess slack of the splints being cinched up and pushed as close to the knee as possible to prevent later slipping. Notice how the knot is being tied over the splint as opposed to the patient or over a void for maximum tightness. The first cravat, the one that does not go around the patient's knee, is retrieved and untied so that it can be passed underneath the patient around the splints only. and tied with the utmost tightness. This final cravat is the largest load-bearing strap in the splint. Lastly, the, the end cravats are retightened to ensure stability during transport. Thus tightened, distal PMS is going to be assessed to ensure the splint is not overly tight. This patient is ready for transport.